Hello everyone. At some point in the future, when I'm finished typing it up and the Lord tells me to release it, I will be releasing a glossary titled Kingdom Vocabulary, and I'll be going over that in a video, I'm sure. Um, but right now, I'm led to, and I asked the Lord permission, and he said go ahead, um, to address three terms, three pieces of terminology uh, to give some clarification in the body of Christ, in the church. And these terms are decree, declare, and proclaim. Because lately, I keep seeing, hearing people misuse the word decree because as the Lord keeps showing me, most of the body of Christ are babes and they're being led by babes or just immature people, ignorant people, and people in the body of Christ in the church are just monkey see, monkey do, you know, um, just regurgitating what they see and hear other people saying and doing. And we really need to be going to the Lord instead of doing that. I know we all go through that at first as babes, but at some point, you know, scripture says that, you know, when I was a child, I did childish things and whatever. And then when I grew up, I put those childish things away. You know, at some point we need to take our relationship with the Lord deeper and higher and be asking him whether or not we should be monkey see, monkey do, whether or not we should be regurgitating and copying and mimicking what we see others saying and doing, we should be going to him and asking him what he says on the matter, the topic, and what his definitions of things are. And uh, that's, that's an exhortation that I will continue to give. Okay, you need to be going to the Lord and asking him about everything. But um, I'm just going to shoot from the hip here without having my uh, Word document in front of me to go over these three terms because I was just discussing this with the Lord and re-clarifying with him to make sure that I have it straight. But let's talk about the word decree, okay? We see a lot of people, we hear a lot of people, you know, I decree right now in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, da 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 and they're misusing this term. Okay? A decree pertains to a matter that Father God Yahweh, as judge, sitting on his judgment seat, has decided in the courtroom of heaven, in the court of heaven. Now, if you think about a courtroom, you have a plaintiff and you have a defendant. And I was just asking the Lord to clarify this so I don't screw it up here, but I believe he told me that we as the children of God are the defendants. And who do you think is the plaintiff? The accuser, the accuser of the brethren, Satan, right? Lucifer and all his followers. Okay? We're told in scripture that Satan, the accuser of the brethren, you could also call him the plaintiff, is bringing accusations against us day and night in the court of heaven. And then Father God Yahweh, the ultimate judge, he makes a decision. When a judge makes a decision, that is a decree. An example that I can give you would be when God decides that he's had enough with someone to the point where he has decreed their death. I know a lot of people don't like that, but it's biblical. Go and read the Old Testament. And just because something's in the Old Testament does not mean it does not apply today. Okay? You, gotta div you have to divide the word of God correctly. And again, go and ask him. Don't sit here and argue out of your own intellect. Go and ask him. 
It is a verdict. A decree is a verdict of something that is being argued in the court of heaven. People are throwing around this word decree left and right loosely all the time and they're misusing it. They're misapplying it. Now, there's a difference between a decree and when God just ordains something. Now, both of those, you know, when, when God decides something, yes, that is an ordination, but a decree has more weight to it and it has more legality to it. It's from the courtroom of heaven because something has been disputed in the courtroom of heaven. That's what a decree applies to. Now, if God has just made a promise to you, if God has promised you whatever it may be, a kingdom spouse, a new vehicle, a new home, um, healing, you know, whatever. If God has promised you something, that is not a decree. Now let's get into the other two terms, declaring and proclaiming. When you declare something, it simply means that you are stating it out loud as spoken word. Okay, we know that God spoke everything into creation. Okay, because spoken word has power. And if you want to get into the mechanics of all that, yeah, you could say, you know, the, the vibrations of sound and blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so when you declare something, you are simply just stating it out loud in creation, in the realm of God's creation. You know, you are, you are saying it out loud whether or not there's other people around or not. You are stating it out loud. You are speaking it into existence. Okay? Now, proclaiming, when you proclaim something, you're declaring something and you're doing it publicly. Okay, you're doing it for others to hear and witness in terms of human beings, okay? Because even if you have no human beings around you and you declare something, you know, there's still um, evil entities around, there's still angels around, okay? But when you proclaim something, you are declaring it publicly, for other, uh, in front of, you're, you're, you're doing it in the witness of other human beings, proclaiming. And so that is actually the word that people should be using when they are in front of a crowd, in front of a congregation, or if they're on um, social media such as YouTube or whatever where they know that they're going to have a lot of viewers and whatever, okay? They are proclaiming. So... For example, I was just, you know, watching someone's video and they were proclaiming that there's a shift and, you know, all this good stuff is going to happen and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, they're obviously operating out of the gift of um, exhortation of, you know, lifting people up, encouraging people. Okay. And that's great. That's that person's gift and they're operating in it and that, that's great. Um, but they were misusing the word decree. So just because you are declaring something or proclaiming something that God has promised, God has ordained, if it's not something that was necessarily disputed in the courtroom of heaven, it's not a decree. A, a decree means that like, so okay, when you, when you go to a courtroom and it's disputed, Whatever the judge decides, there is then documentation typed up. It's official, right? There's some kind of, um, what's the word? Some kind of officiality to it, okay? That is a decree. And people are misusing this word left and right. And, and I know you could sit here and argue, and you could argue lots of things until Christ comes back, and you could still be in the wrong. Um... I mean, yeah, could you argue that like, okay, well, if God promised you something, isn't that official? Yeah, but it's not in the sense of like courtroom legality official. Okay, so that's the distinction. I'm just putting this out there for clarification. I asked the Lord if he wanted me to. He said yes, because I keep 
this keeps coming up recently. I, I just keep hearing this over and over and over of people saying, well, I decree this and I decree that. You don't decree anything. God decrees it and then he gives particular people, usually his prophets, his mouthpieces, he gives them the instruction of, okay, I want you to go and decree this officially. I want you to go and tell, you know, just like when, um, who was it? Oh, I'm forgetting names now, but I, I, um, that one prophet went to, who was it? Hezekiah? And told him, hey, God said you're going to die, right? That was a decree. That was an official, like, stamped with the seal of God, you know, like, this is an official document. This is This has been decided in the courtroom of heaven, okay? Um, it's different than just, okay, God has set a certain season shift or has made a promise to you or whatever, okay? Now, a few weeks ago, the Lord told me to go ahead and declare something regarding my future kingdom um, marriage. And I was kind of surprised by it because it's the first time he's ever actually told me to do this. But he said, just go ahead and declare it. That meant just say it out loud. It Just say it out loud. Speak it into existence. I didn't need an audience. I wasn't doing it publicly, right? So that's not proclaiming. And it's also not decreeing because it's not something that was decided in the courtroom in terms of being disputed with a plaintiff and a defendant. Okay? When it comes down to a decree, there's a plaintiff and there's a defendant. You got Satan coming against you in the courtroom of heaven or against someone in the courtroom of heaven accusing them and the Lord says, well, according to uh, my son's blood, this person is innocent. And at that point, the Lord may decide that he's going to take vengeance on Satan, right? Or Satan, well, any form of Satan, one of Lucifer's minions, right? Okay, that's a decree. There is a defendant and a plaintiff in the courtroom of heaven. Most of the time when people are trying to say something officially based on um, just a word of knowledge, a promise that God has made, you know, a prophecy, you're more so talking about declaring and proclaiming. If you're doing it publicly, it's proclaiming. Okay, decrees are usually given by a fivefold minister, and they're usually given more so by prophets, the mouthpieces of God. And in, in, in our time right now, in the tribulation, I would say it's even more so going to be uh, given by the two witnesses because they are judges. Um, I'm not going to get too far into all that, but... Um, Anyway, God just wanted me to clarify this, okay, with all this terminology. Decreeing is something that is coming from the courtroom of heaven where there has been a plaintiff and a defendant. It's been disputed and God has decided it officially. I hope this was edifying and insightful and helpful. I bless you all in the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth.